Hi, I'm Lisa Michelle. I'm an entrepreneur and online business coach. And I like creating videos to help you learn how you can make money online with digital products. And one of the common questions that I get from students, from, uh, you know, just questions from videos that I post on YouTube is, how do you know what products to sell on Etsy? And this tool that I'm going to show you today should help you if it's something that you're interested in subscribing to. I'll leave a link to it in the description box, but it can give you a good idea of the types of products that are actually in demand that you may not have thought of before that you can create an offer and with additional insight into each listing. And I'll show you what I mean. So I'm on the Etsy homepage. And generally, if I want to create a printable or some type of digital product, I'll have something in mind. So I'll know what I'm searching for. Um, so let's just say I'm interested in creating some type of adult coloring page. All right, so that's what I'm going to put in. Adult coloring page. And I'll do adult coloring pages printable and just see how many results come up. So now this one brings up 80,000. So because the number is so high, I'm going to change my search to adult coloring pages uh, digital download and see how many that brings up. Okay, it's still a lot, but it's fine. We'll work with that example. So you can look and see whether or not, you know, this is something that you can create, something you can compete with. Um, you know, are they selling? There are different ways to tell whether or not the product is selling. Just one way, for example, we can just click on this one and let's just see there are five reviews for this item i don't see any in anyone's cart but we'll just assume that it is selling because there are reviews that are maybe relatively recent so we'll stick with this all right so now what we're going to do is go back to this home page where we've got all of the adult coloring pages and you'll see that this little sidebar popped up over here this is everby and it's a Chrome extension. There's a subscription attached to it. There's a free version, so you can definitely try it out without paying for it. But the version that I'm using is, uh, is a paid version. So the first thing I do is click on product analytics. And this will bring up the products that came up under that adult coloring pages digital download uh, keyword search. And it gives you a lot of different um, numbers here. Monthly sales, monthly revenue, total sales how many reviews, how long it's been listed, how many times it's been favorited, uh, average number of reviews, average uh, number of views, and the age of the shop and the category is in. So let's go ahead and search this by total sales. So we just get an idea of how many um, they've sold. All right, uh, in the past, um, well, how, however long the product's been listed, we'll look and see how many sales they've gotten. If you want to search by monthly sale, you can do that as well. So this one has total sales of 2,000 and it's 250 plus adults. Let me stretch this out. Motivational quote coloring pages. So you can just scroll down. If there's something that you see that you want to get more information on, you would just click it. So this one, I, I did see this one before. So I'm going to click on this one because it does look interesting. And when you click on that, you'll see over here, this pops up. This gives you additional information over here. So you can see, yeah, it's about 50 sales a month. The average monthly revenue is about $396. And this is pretty much the same information that's here. But in addition to that, you also get their the tags that they use as keywords. So that they all, looks like they use all 13 tags. And if you, you know, are always confused about what you should put in your tags, this will be a huge help. If you find something that you're interested in selling that's in the niche you're interested in, you can kind of get an idea of how to title your product, how to price your product, and also how to, like what keywords to use. And as you can see from this listing, it looks as though they just used the, all the keywords that they use in the title, they repeat it in their tags, and then they added instant download, digital download, things like that. So that's helpful if you don't know how to title your products and you don't know what tags to use. So we can look at another example. Uh, this one is Kawaii Coloring Pages. And this one is selling about 91 a month, it's 
and it sold about 565 um, in the past six months. So you can click on this. And another thing you can do is you can click on shop details if you want to get more information on the shop. So we see this and if you're interested, okay, I like this product and I think I want to create something similar. I want to be able to kind of track it and see, you know, what's going on with this. You can either list it here. I mean, click this here and make it a favorite of yours or you can click here on the calculator to try to figure out how much they are earning after ads and sales and all of that you can click on this thing to track um, the listing in their listing rank tracker and here it shows you the tags again and you click on start tracking and then you can go over here and it will show all of the products that you've decided you want to track and when you click on it here it's probably still processing but it'll give you the search volume for each keyword that it ranks for. Okay, and it'll also give you the organic rank once it's had time to process. All right, so if you are, you know, looking for products to sell in your shop and you don't know which ones to choose, or if you have products that you've created but you just don't how to don't know how to title them or how to use tags, um, Everbee is, I think it's a great tool. I will leave a link in the description so you can try the free version just so you can find out how it could possibly benefit you in your shop. All right, so that's it. If you have other questions on how to start an Etsy shop, I will also leave a link in the description box for a three day uh, Etsy printables workshop that you can sign up for. And in the course of three days, it'll show you how to design, sell, and market your printables. So if you're starting a new Etsy shop, you may want to start that challenge. It's, it's running right now if you're interested. So if you like the video, please like it. If you want to see more videos like this to help you start and grow your digital products business, please consider subscribing so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. All right, so that's going to do it for me. And until next time, peace.